Hello, everyone. I'm Zainab Swarad Dahab, Associate Professor of Community Medicine, Faculty of Medicine, University of Khartoum. I am presenting my project on feasibility of establishing an e-learning program, Faculty of Medicine and Nursery Sciences, University of Khartoum. E-learning is a learning with the aid of information and communication technologies. It helps us to continue our learning process despite the lockdowns and restriction of personal movement. The project aims to assess the current situation of e-learning resources needed for successful implementation of an e-learning program and establishment of a trained cohort of students to enhance e-learning among their peers. Methodology, it's a campus-based study where a total number of 95 participants whom accessible to us during the quarantine were, assist, were assessed to estimate the, avail the availability of essential resources needed to apply online delivery teaching system and explore their past experience with the learning management system. 40% of students were selected purposefully and trained on basic engineering e-learning activities. Their skills and competencies were assessed by a pre and post test. This is to show the orientation workshop that was conducted to the students, discussing with them their roles in enhancing e-learning among their peers. The result? The results showed the findings. Uh, uh, the majority of them have the internet coverage with positive attitude towards e-learning. Most of them preferred blended e-learning in comparison to the internet online delivery system. The most, the most commonly used personal device was the mobiles, which moreover enhance or facilitate the online accessibility. Conclusions are summarized in a SWOT analysis template. The strengths are 100% of study sample on the devices. Majority have considerable internet coverage with sufficient speed, the 4G. And the weaknesses as it is displayed in the below pie chart are an affordable internet cost and a stable power supply. 43% of them have no experience in learning management system, e-learning guidelines were not in place. The opportunities that might support the program are positive attitudes towards e-learning, technology savvy generation, and the support or partnership with the WHO. The threats are 6% of them do not have internet cover, coverage, 22% do not have 4G technology, which might be needed in the synchronous type of teaching, and all of these are considered to be affecting the equity value of the medical education. Thank you very much.